and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to replace the hard drive in the 2007 and 2008 20-inch iMac. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged our iMac, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to remove the memory access door using your Phillips screwdriver. Next, attach the two suction cups to the glass panel in the top corners. Then, gently pull back on the panel to detach it from the magnets that hold it in place. We can now lay the iMac on its back. To remove the front bezel, we'll first need to remove 12 Torx T8 screws. Start with these four along the bottom edge of the screen. These are longer than the remaining eight screws. Next, remove these eight around the outer edge of the screen. You can now lift the bezel up from the top so that you may loosen it from the bottom edge. However, don't pull up too far as there's a microphone cable that needs to be detached. Once you've removed the bezel from the iMac, you can disconnect the microphone cable by simply unplugging the connector. You can then set the bezel aside. Next, we need to remove the LCD itself. We'll start by detaching the LVDS connector near the lower right. First, remove the two Torx T6 screws holding it in. Pull up on the black tab to detach the connector from its socket. We can now remove the eight Torx T8 screws holding the display in place. Lift up slightly on the LCD to find the display temperature sensor cable. Pull it out of its channel along the fan on the left, then detach the connector by pulling it straight up and out of its socket. Once this has been detached, you can carefully lift up further on the bottom edge of the display to reveal the first pair of inverter board connectors, which you can disconnect by simply pulling the connectors apart. Then, lift the display further and disconnect the second pair of cables near the top right corner in the same manner. You can now lift the display off completely and set it aside. You'll see the hard drive near the center of the iMac. Peel off the foam that covers the temperature sensor. You can also move the tape holding any excess cable in place. Finally, peel off the bracket holding the sensor in place and move the sensor itself out of the way. Pull the top of the hard drive bracket toward you to unlatch it from the frame. You can now lift the hard drive up and out of its bay and then detach the data and power cables. We can now transfer the mounting hardware over to the new drive. Set your original drive on your work surface with the SATA connector facing you. Then do the same with the new drive. Rotate both drives 90 degrees clockwise and transfer the retainer clip from the original drive to the new one. You can also transfer the anti-static pad to the same position on the new drive. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Then, rotate the drives 180 degrees and transfer the other mounting pins. The new drive is now ready to install. Reattach the power and data cables to the drive. Then slide the lower mounting pins on the drive into their grommets in the iMac. 
You can then lay the drive flat into the iMac and push the top handle down until it latches into place. Place the heat sensor with the flat side down in roughly the same place as on the original drive, then use the bracket to hold it in place. Again, there should be enough leftover adhesive to stick. Replace any excess wire back like it was before. If the tape was no longer sticky, use a piece of Kapton tape to hold the wires in place. Finally, re-adhere the foam pad over the sensor assembly. You can now set the display back into place, starting at the top edge. Plug the two inverter cables into the two sockets near the top, then do the same for the front pair. Reattach the display temperature sensor cable by lining up the connectors and sliding them together. Then, run the cable along the channel by the fan. Lay the display all the way down, making sure it lays flat. If it doesn't, you may need to adjust the positioning of one or more of the inverter cables so that they sit out of the way. Then, slide the LVDS connector back into its socket and secure it with the two Torx T6 screws. Finally, replace the eight Torx T8 screws that hold the display in place. Reattach the microphone cable on the front bezel by lining up the two connectors and sliding them together. Then, set the bezel back into place, starting at the bottom of the iMac and leaning it back into position. To make sure the microphone cable lays in its channel, you can pull the cable through the hole in the frame and push it back in once the bezel's in place. You can now replace the screws that hold the bezel in, starting with the four longer screws along the bottom edge of the display, then the eight shorter ones around the outer edge. If the EyeSight camera isn't centered in its cutout, use your screwdriver to maneuver it into position through these two holes. Set the iMac upright, and making sure the bottom pin is positioned over its alignment hole, set the front glass along the front edge, and use a microfiber cloth to make sure there's no dust on the LCD or the back side of the glass. Then, you can lean the front glass back into place. The other pin should align automatically, although you may have to gently squeeze along the edges to make sure the glass is flush. You can then remove the suction cups and use your microfiber cloth to clean off any marks. Finally, replace the memory access door. You may now plug your iMac back in, hook it back up, and turn it on.